Now, the other high profile case that everybody's heard about, Jack, is, is Medibank. So what happened there? So this was a bit different. In this case, it was a compromised user account that led to the network compromise. So an individual had their computer attacked and credentials were stolen from this individual that allowed remote access into the Medibank network. Now this shows different controls that were missing, such as multi-factor authentication, which could have prevented the threat actor from accessing the network, but it does also show a lack of monitoring. Reportedly, the threat actor was in the network using this user account for periods of up to a month. This should have been identified by a security operations center. Another major difference between the Medibank and the Optus attacks were that Medibank did not have cyber insurance. Cyber insurance can be an important protection that not only mandates you have the controls in place in order to get the insurance, but ensures that if you do get attacked, then insurance will bring in the appropriate qualified professionals to help you react to it and respond to it appropriately.